everyone, it's Burger Boy. In this video, I'm unboxing the Red Dragon PO22 wrist rest and the Red Dragon Libra mouse pad. So, here we go. Here it is. The wrist rest. It's got the Red Dragon logo iron on. And the mouse pad. Wait, here it is, the mouse pad. I'm going to give a close up and explain some things. So, here's the mouse pad. pad. This is actually the second take for this segment because the footage was upside down because of the way my camera was orientated. Like I already said, the Red Dragon logo is iron on. The surface of the wrist rest is made from fabric. And the underside is made from rubber. So it doesn't slide around. And here is the mouse pad. It has the Red Dragon logo too. And this design of the Red Dragon. That's what it's called. And the wrist rest is filled with memory foam. So is the wrist rest for the keyboard. And like the keyboard wrist rest, it's also made from rubber so it doesn't slide around your desk. So, here I am. I'm going to play a bit of Minecraft with this for my first game. Doing it like this is one that just doesn't really feel as good, but this is better. Like, having more here. But the mouse pad, it feels just fine. Because I'm not really used to having my, like, this, when it's elevated. It's flat, it's like this, but this feels better when it's near your palm. I know that there are ones, like, the Arai Man, which actually has the logo lit up and it has a thicker bar, where it's like a little ring on the side as an, an integrated wrist rest. This is okay, but when it's like this, not so much. And no, I'm not being paid by Red Dragon to make this. I know they have sent stuff to this guy, but I bought these with my money and some swag bucks. No, they're not sponsoring me either. So, everything is my honest opinion. The wrist rests on this. Feeling it puff back out. Like memory foam should. But this one is just kind of pretty stuck. But the nice part is, doesn't slide around, so it's because of the rubber. And the mouse pad, this was my previous mouse pad. I've had this thing for a long time. I just thought yeah, it would be nice to have a little upgrade. This mouse pad is kind of a bit bigger than I thought it would be. 
I know it's neat, it's one of those with the design. So that's a little bit of Minecraft. I'm going to do Slime Rancher next. So here I am. I'm going to play a bit of Slime Rancher. So, that's my review. My final thoughts. The mouse pad's nice. It's nice having this little wrist rest. But the wrist rest, I'm going to say this. It's an acquired taste. It'll take me a bit of time to get adjusted to. And no, I've never really had wrist aches from playing like this all day. But I'm just letting you know. It's an acquired taste. It's not something you're going to use immediately and decide you, you never want to go back. But the mouse pad, it's nice. I would say if this is the thing if you're looking for a new mouse pad. And it matches my brands. So I got an all Red Dragon control scheme. Thanks for watching.